Hello everyone, um, today we're going to take a look at the if statement. So we can use this to control the code flow, so if the condition within the if statement is true, then the code following it will be executed. So there's a few different options we have uh, to check against, so we could use um, a variable, um, we can see if data exists, or we can check um, if data is a specific value. Um, so we'll take a look at these, okay? So we'll start with if exists, because that's one that I've written already. <laughs> and I use this quite a lot in stored procedures where I want to make sure that the customer exists before I apply an update to it. So if we just write here, if exists, and we're just selecting one from the customer's table, where the customer ID equals one. Then we've got a begin statement and an end statement, and it's going to execute everything within the begin and the end if this condition is true. So we know that customer ID one does exist, so this should return. Yay, yes it does. <laughs> so, um, obviously, instead of a select statement here, um, I would normally have written like an insert, update, or delete um, instead. I'm going to cover those in a coming tutorial. So if I wanted to do something if the condition is not met, then I can just write else and then another begin and end. And in here, let's just say no. So if I change this to minus one, because that's not a valid customer, we can see here that that will say no instead. And you could also, if I go to these, if I wanted to say if not exists, that's also a thing, then I can see here now customer minus one does not exist, so it will say yes there. So if I wanted to use this with a variable, then let's, oh, there we go, let's declare that here. Um, and then what we'll do is if update, if update equals one, Do update here. So I can see here that when the bit is one it will do the update and if it's zero then it doesn't do the um, it won't perform the thing. And then finally if we wanted to check against data what we can do here is uh, valid two. So if I want to check for example, that this customer is valid. So let's just say check that the value two of this customer is greater than get date, then select yes. Yeah. So we could put anything in this column really that you wanted to check if the value of the column equals whatever here. So I could put like, you know, equals a certain date or something. Um, and then yeah, if the if statement equals to true, then it will run the code between the begin and the end. So yeah, simple, that's pretty much it. Um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe to the channel and feel free to add any comments below. Uh, the next tutorial in this series will be the go-to statement. Um, I quite often use that within if statement, so it fits quite well in with this. So yeah, thank you for watching.